Hey guys, this is a North 40. Today we're going to go over some exploding target recipes. I got a couple tried and true recipes, and then I got a couple experimental ones that I've never tried yet. So let's start with the most common rifle exploding target half a pound of ammonium nitrate to a teaspoon of aluminum powder, or roughly six grams. These little uh, Ziploc bags in the craft section at uh, Walmart and work really good for storing your chemicals ahead of time, measuring them out. And when you get on the field and you want to start shooting, you don't have to fool around with all that crap. Okay, we're going to mix it up real well so all the ammonium nitrate is coated. And this has to be shot with uh, a rifle, like a 223, I think, at the, at the smallest, but there might be some other options as well, but that's the smallest caliber rifle I've got is a 223, so. Okay, looks to be coated pretty good. I like to use these Chinese takeout containers because you can mix them and put them in there and then you can hang them up on this little handle here. Makes the target easier to see. Six grams of aluminum powder going in. I'm gonna stuff that back in the box here. All right, let's go out and shoot them, see how they work. And then we'll come back and do the rest of the targets. One by one, test them out. Okay guys, we got one at 50 yards and 60 yards. We'll be shooting with the AR-15. See how they work here. There's one. Let's try a 60 yard target. I nicked it. to do. You get the idea anyway. All right guys, let's move on to the 22 sensitive ones now. Let's see, the first one I've got on my list is, let's see, here we go. First you have to mix 30% Bright flake aluminum, 200 to 325 mesh. Seventy percent high purity potassium perchlorate. It's got to be high, high, high purity. I tried the regular stuff; it just doesn't work. Kind of clumps up, so I'm going to use this screen to break up all the clumps. Okay, we'll mix this up real well. Then you take your Imodium Nitrate. I'm doing a half a pound of Imodium Nitrate for each target. To that, to this you add a teaspoon. Slightly rounded, I guess, is fine. And then you can save this mix for the other ones you make. But yeah, now we'll mix these babies up. We'll go out in the field and give them a try with the uh, Ruger 1022. Okay, let's go set them up and see how they work. 
Okay, we got the Ruger 1022 here. We'll test out this first batch of 22 sensitive exploding targets. See how they work. Now I'll try the next one. That one worked okay. That's the trouble with exploding targets. If you nick them and you don't hit them center on, they don't always go off. So, oh well, let's work it. Go on to the next one here. Okay, let's move on to the next exploding target. This one is copper oxide and bright flake aluminum powder. Just happened to have some copper oxide left from one of my firework stars that I make and thought I'd give this recipe a try. Eighty one point five per cent copper oxide to eighteen point four bright flake aluminum two hundred to three hundred twenty five mesh. And we'll mix that up. These are rather small. Well, you can make them bigger, I imagine, but I'm going to put them in these little Ziploc bags here. And they have to be on a metal backing, so I just happen to have an old computer case I've been shooting at and an old grill, so we'll use that for our metal backing. We'll stick that on there with tape, so. Let's just fill up a couple of these bags and give them a try. This seems to be a ample supply of well, That's a big fail. Try the other one, see how that one works. Well, I think I have to say that's a fail, guys. I've seen that work on YouTube, so. Okay, guys, I don't know what happened with that last one. If I didn't have a strong enough metal backing or what, but that's too much anyway. I like these containers. Now for my tried and true recipe. Quarter cup of ammonium nitrate. And if you get the colored aquarium gravel from Walmart in the pet section, you use that for friction. You don't have to worry, be worried about shrapnel either. That stuff crumbles up when you hit it with the hammer. I don't know if it's molded or what it is, but anyway, that's 24 grams of potassium perchlorate and 12 grams of aluminum powder. Basically, it's flash powder, but the rocks and the ammonium nitrate give it more volume, so it's you know you get a bigger target. That's the and it's more reliable too when you have the extra friction in there. And you mix that up really well. So everything is covered in aluminum powder and potassium perchlorate, and we can. Wrap that up and stick it back in the box. And we'll make another one for you. Once again, a quarter cup of ammonium nitrate. 24 grams potassium perchlorate. And 12 grams of aluminum powder and a half a cup of aquarium gravel from Walmart in the, craft, in the uh, pet section. The colored stuff is better because it 
crumbles up easier. The stuff that's uh, brownish, that's kind of like pea gravel almost. It's more of a real, it's more of a natural rock. But I'd used it before, I never had a problem with it. So I've had a few of the pebbles rain down on me, but I've never had any come flying at me like shrapnel, you know. That looks mixed well. All right. And if you're the sharpshooter type and like targets on a smaller scale, you can get one of these little these diamond cups from the uh, grocery store or at Walmart where they keep the Ziploc bags and such. And let's see here, what are the ingredients for this one? They're the same as the other one, they're just uh, knocked down a little bit. We got 20 grams or a tablespoon of aquarium gravel, 20 grams of ammonium nitrate or a tablespoon roughly, 5 grams of aluminum powder, and 10 grams of potassium perchlorate. Okay, let's make sure we got all of our aluminum powder in there. Okay. And we'll mix this baby up really good and we'll put it back in the diamond cup. You could put these ones a little closer. My nephew's got a kick out of shooting these. You tape them to a shish kebab skewer. with this Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue tape, like so, on the back here. Then you stick them in the ground and you can shoot them. Put a piece of orange tape on there if you want to. Okay, we'll take these babies out and see how they work. And I've got one more experimental kind of exploring target. Uh, YouTuber that watched one of my videos saw it on the ATF website or something on those sorts where it was similar to the uh, rifle target except it used three times more aluminum powder and that was supposedly would make it 22 sensitive but I kind of doubt it but we'll give it a try if you want to stick around for that one okay guys we got it all set up See if we can pop a couple of these for you. There we go. Let's peck a wallop, eh? You can feel them in your chest. They thump pretty good. Okay, let's go for those two up front there. The diamond containers. There's one. Let's let the smoke clear and we'll hit the next one. Yeah, baby. Those babies are reliable. You really have to miss them bad for them not to go off. To all the naysayers, I survived all that aquarium gravel shrapnel coming at me and attacking me. Incidentally, if you take those diamond cup targets, that same recipe, and you put it in a Ziploc bag and tape it up, they make little double-sided sticky tapes. Put this uh, blue painter's tape, and you put them all along there, three or four of them, you can fit them in a clay pigeon and you can shoot it with your shotgun. Pull it. Oh. I don't have much faith in this target, but we'll give it a try. A YouTuber said he saw, he saw on the eight, an ATF site using three times the amount of aluminum powder to a half a pound of ammonium nitrate would be enough to make it 22 sensitive. We'll give it a try, what the heck.
And as long as I've got it, we'll try some of that aluminum bright flake powder too, just to see if there's any difference. Same deal, half pound of ammonium nitrate, 18 grams of aluminum powder. Okay, we got those triple the aluminum powder targets set up. Triple the aluminum to a half pound of ammonium nitrate set up. The first one, the closest one, has got Eckhart aluminum powder. And the other one has the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called now. The Bright Flake aluminum powder. And we'll shoot away. Let's try the fire one first. The Bright Flake aluminum powder, I believe, is that one. I tickled it. Try another shot. Yeah, it's not doing nothing. Let's try the uh, Eckhart aluminum powder one. As I suspected, it's a no-go. That's all right. We are clear. If you made it this far in the video, I commend you. You have the patience that most people don't have. Okay, in conclusion, Rifle targets, half pound of ammonium nitrate to one teaspoon of aluminum powder, six grams, worked very well. Uh, next we tried the uh, copper oxide, I believe, 81.5% copper oxide to 18.4 bright flake aluminum, 200 to 325 mesh with a metal backing, and that was a, that was a fail, at least on my part. I might have got my chemicals wrong or something, I'm not positive. And let's see. The, no, maybe I'm not sure which order I went to. Anyway, the, the one that worked half and half was uh, the bright flake aluminum powder to 70% potassium perchlorate to a uh, half pound of ammonium nitrate. You know, that worked okay. I don't think they were as loud as the uh, my targets with the aquarium gravel, which works flawlessly. And the last one I tried was a complete fail. Triple the aluminum powder to ammonium nitrate. So, what you're gonna do, all you can do is try and experiment with stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the North 40 signing out.